This is the third time only in five and a half years of Jeopardy that I have to make this announcement. And it is that our network of record has established a rule that says any player who earns over $75,000 in cash has to give whatever he earns in excess of that amount to the charity of his or her choice. That may be a factor in today's game. U.S. Presidents is the category. The clue coming up, contestants, you'll then have 30 seconds in which to put down your question. Here is today's final Jeopardy. Of the first seven presidents, only these two were not re-elected. Good luck. see if uh, you put down the correct names. Who are Adams and John Quincy Adams? Yes, indeed. That is right. What did you do to that $500? You added $350 to it. You go to $850 and we'll go to Murdoch. He had $5,200. Did he come up with the Adams boys? Nope. Had one of them. I put in Madison. That's an error and it'll cost you $200. So you'll wind up with an even $5,000. Now let's come down to Frank Spangenberg. He had $20,500. Did he get both? Adams and John Quincy. He did indeed. Why not? He's been right all uh, five games. A chance for a new record. What was the wager? 10,100. A new one-day record of 30,600. A new five-day record of 102,597. Congratulations, Frank. What's the charity? Please keep the blood hostage from my missionaries of charity. This is Teresa's order in New York City. Teresa's charity. Well, Congratulations again, Frank, and thank you for tuning us in. Three new contestants tomorrow. We'll see you then. So long.